Good evening. Welcome to a new look match of the day for the start of a brand new season. It's a new experience in the top flight for Barnsley after a 99-year wait. The Paul Kitts and John Hartson partnership has not been around for too long but they kept the hammers up last season. We've got Barnsley versus West Ham. Liverpool have got a new leader. The governor is back. And he's still around. Him there, Vinnie Jones. He doesn't want to be forgotten. Wimbledon versus Liverpool is our main match. This man's in new surroundings. Paolo Di Canio turned his back on Celtic for Sheffield Wednesday. Today, his yellow boots visited Newcastle. Debutants are on the score sheet with the day's other goals. We've kept faith with a couple of old hands in the studio, Alan and Trevor. Now, after a long wait, top flight football finally arrived at Oakwell this afternoon. West Ham were the visitors. Enjoying the carnival atmosphere was Barry Davis. It's like watching Brazil, is what the locals say about Barnsley Football Club. And their premiership life begins with a carnival. The samba band is in place. The temperatures are entirely suitable for the Copacabana beach. And it's a lovely atmosphere on a special day, which offers a blend of history, of dreams, of romance, and of realism. But this occasion is a breath of fresh air in the overheated, moneyed atmosphere of the Premiership, and a breath which the club are determined to use for a long life. Danny Wilson takes his seat, and the first team that he's chosen includes nine of those around when the promotion was won last spring. Now they include the veteran Peter Shetliff. The new boys are the South African who came from Cagliari in Italy, Eric Tinkler, and Darren Barnard, who arrived after much chasing by the manager from Bristol City just a couple of days ago. West Ham are looking to be the uh, party poopers and get their season off to a good start. And they're happy to include Tim Breaker, who uh, appears to be trying to run off an Achilles problem. And they also include, of course, the Israeli bought from Southampton, Ayal Berkovitz, to slot in behind the two strikers, Messrs. Hudson and Kitson, whose goals saved their premiership bacon last May. The referee, Alan Wilkie, from Chester the Street. No attempt at the start to score directly from the kickoff. But Barnsley's premiership life is underway on what is a really excellent pitch here. And I doubt if there's a better atmosphere anywhere in the country than here today. Frank Lampard, number two at West Ham, nearer the camera there. His uh, son, also Frank, is one of the substitutes. Bullock, did well. Hendrick, Berlin with his back. Tinkler, last a bit much, I think. And Michael Hughes, doing what he does well. Covering the run of Tinkler, uh, covering the run that uh, Tinkler thought he could use wide. Raced by Reaper. Plenty getting forward here for Barnsley. Eden, nicely done. Running out of room. Now they get a corner. Half Tim Breaker. 
the risk of being accused of bias. I think it is only fitting that the first corner at Oakwell in the Premiership season should go to the home side. A bit of watching going on there, not too much football being played. Useful looking cross. Oh, yes! The captain has given them the lead. Neil Redfern is the scorer of the first goal for Barnsley in the Premiership. He was among the goals last season. Claimed his study should have been better because he missed penalties. He directed that header wide of the flailing McCloskey. It's taken nine minutes for Barnsley to make their presence felt among the big boys. Fitzson. Berkowitz. Kitson. Redford. Still a game promise for West Ham from their right side. That's a beautiful ball. It's taken by Eden. Bullock is ahead of him. Two others to the left. That's a fine ball too to Hendry if he can dig it out. Blocked by Reaper. Shot was from Barnard in the end. a good attack that was a useful ball too just didn't quite sit good challenge wanted a bit more time than uh, than he had then Hendrik tell the truth he did well to balance himself so he break up back of it Kitson Well played. Eddie Moses, who came across important for Barnsley that they keep the advantage to the half time interval. Good determination again by Kitson. It's a corner. Berkovic near post. Kitson in the middle. Ferdinand on the near edge of the six-yard area. Lomas pulls away for the wide run. And Watson comes for it and gets a really good fist on it. Over the head of the zoo. He's not the tallest at five feet eleven, Dave Watson, but he gets off the ground really well. Berkovitz. Opportunity, oh, goodness me, Dazu gave the chance to Mark Reaper. He didn't really keep his head. It's a bad piece of defending, it has to be said, this. Reaper didn't make him pay. Potts. Hopefully he has a, a look at the watch on his uh, left wrist. Now that confirms what the one on his right wrist has said. And half time has been reached. And the man who scored the goal comes off after a quick conversation with the referee. Neil Redfern, the captain of Barnsley, has set the right example. And a well earned break. And the need of cool drinks all around. Half time, it's Barnsley 1, West Ham United 0. familiar sight in these parts but uh, no longer but even so things brightening up in the area of Barnsley not least because of the exploits of their football team and they start the second half in the lead with West Ham making one substitution here's Stan Lazaridis and he's come on in place of Tim Breaker first clearance by Reaper Take that. Wilkinson. 
Bullock. Had a more than useful first half. Redfern. Eden again threatening in the box, but he got himself on the wrong side for a moment. And Harry Redknapp in the shorts with uh, Frank Lampard. And here is Henry and Lazaridis. You made up good ground on him. He's quick, he's Stan Lazaridis. Because John Hendry, although not quite as young as he used to be, is certainly still no slouch. Ferdinand, Onker, Berkowitz. Hartson, Berkowitz, Lazaridis offering on the left, Kitson threatening down the middle, Lomas on the right. Much more control play by West Ham until that pass from Lomas, which was quite awful. Reaper. Can't get out of their own half except in chasing clearances, Barnsley. And they won't even do that from that clearance in among the male torsos. Watson has come for this, and didn't make it, and Hudson equalises, and it's been on the cards, the equaliser, since the start of the second half. Dazu and Watson together. I'm not quite sure why Watson was there. He'd come along. Bullock for Barnsley. It's good play by Barnard. This is Henry. And good stuff from Moklosko, who always looked the favourite in that. Uh, it was well played in and not well cut out, but the goalkeeper did well. He's a big fellow. And blocked. It's Berkowitz. Nicely done. Lazaridis, Hartson in the middle, watched by Dezu. And neither Dezu nor the goalkeeper look too good on that. He's added some spark down the left side, has Lazaridis. Watson, having looked entirely confident and more than confident at the sunny end, is. Uh, in the shadows in more ways than one. Here's Moklosko, uses his head well, or has he? Here's Hendry, no. <laughs> Wouldn't spin down in time for him. Potts. Hartson. The zoo not falling for that. Tinkler, it's all a bit untidy from Barnes's point of view. Kitson, not a bad try. <laughs> Certainly a need to be tighter at the back for Barnsley. Hendry. It's a corner. Barnard again. Hendry. Room for a decent cross. And McClosco rather flapping at it to tell the truth. Tinkler. Eden, out by Kitson to Marcel, Marcel! <laughs> Tricky feet, but there was a big crowd. And he couldn't find a way to keep it down. That's well played by Eden, who's impressed me in this match. 
And Monker has got himself into trouble. Quite stupidly. Redfern will take the free kick. West Ham wanting to make a substitution, but uh, you're defending is never the right time. Perhaps they knew they wouldn't need to defend. And Isle Berkowitz is the player who is coming off. Hasn't really done what he hoped to do in the match. And he's replaced by Frank Lampard with a little JNR after his name. Watched by his father. And a player of some promise. His dad served West Ham well. And Lampard immediately into the action, looks for somebody left side, finally finds him with Hughes. Lazaridis is the player going outside. Three for the cross. And Lampard has scored! Well, that's got to be one of the quickest. He started that, and he finished it. Mr. Magnuson would have been proud of him. Just tucked it in, not entirely comfortably, but in the end, very effectively. Marcel is not making sure with his passes, and here is Kitson with an opportunity to tie it all up. Hudson coming to support. But Kitson, I'm sure, will have a crack on his own if he can. And here's Moncur, it's a good save by Watson. There's something to atone in that. It's certainly been all over at 3-1. Kitson rather lost his way. West Ham supporters wanting the final whistle. That's a good challenge by Thierry. It's a good start by him. Moses. Every West Ham player deep in his own half. Marcel. Still Marcel. Doesn't have to have the winning card every time when he makes the trick, but he tends to be looking for it every time. Here's Hendry. Here's Barnard. That's useful. That's Christoph. That's a good save. Just put his arms up. Locked, made it look very easy. He was in the right place at the right time, was the secret of that, and Christoph denied. And the new boys start with a defeat. Delighted West Ham. Danny Wilson, quick to the dressing room. Proud father will talk to son because Frank Lampard's first goal for West Ham United proves to be a winner. And Oakwell added to the earlier goal by John Hudson. Barnsley, good value for the lead at halftime, given them by Neil Redfern. Went to sleep at the start of the second half. The goal, an error defensively, particularly by uh, young Dave Watson. But they really were not at the races at the start of the second period. They were made to pay, and when they got back into the game, suddenly on came Lampard to make it 2-1 to West Ham. Good victory for the London team. Disappointment for Barnsley, but they shouldn't get too depressed about it. It's going to be a long, hard haul, but attacking-wise at least, they showed themselves with quite a bit to offer. Defensively, a few more questions. Final score is Barnsley 1, West Ham United 2. It's always nice to get off to a winning start, Harry, isn't it? It certainly is. It's not usual for us. You know, we got beat first game last year and, and started barely, and it was always a place, case of playing catch-up. So it was nice to get three points on the ball. Not an easy place to come to. In a way, it was a follow-on from how you ended last season, how you needed to end last season, otherwise yeah. you wouldn't have been here. No, we showed tremendous character at the end of last season, going to Coventry, going to Leicester, picking up great wins, you know, and, and today was the same spirit again. There's no, there's no problem... Uh, with the attitude of the players. I said to him before the game that, um, you know, Danny will be in their dressing room saying, look, West Ham, easy touch, away from home, first game of the season, they're not they don't want to come here and play at Barnes, they're not going to be happy in that little dressing room, we've got to get and prove them wrong. To be honest, at half-time, I didn't think we did that. The second half, uh, it was a different game, we changed the system, changed the way we played completely, and, and everything went our way today. Young Frank came on and scored his first kick, so it was a good day all round.
philosophical? Yeah, I still am. You know, I think it's. Um, I'm just really glad all the hype's gone, and you know, the game's out of the way now, and all the hype will hopefully start settling down a little bit. Because um, obviously, you know, I've, the talks has been since we got promotion about you know the fairy tale stuff, and everybody I think expected us today to have that to fairy tale continued, but unfortunately we didn't. But um, I'm just glad it's out of the way now. We were cancelling each other out a little bit. In fact, they were getting much the better of it. So I, I thought we'd give them more of a problem by changing our system and playing. We played with a diamond in midfield second half and we passed through them and gave them problems. We had, outnumbered them by four to two in the middle of the park and uh, we, we had to pass the ball. I said, you've got to pass it. We, we were kicking it first half, which is not the way we want to play. So much better second half. In, in fairness to West Ham, I think they did the homework second half. You know, they, um, they flooded the midfield. Um, they made it really difficult for us. And, the, and really, they had a, a much more positive approach to it. Um, the second half, we had a... You know, first year of the game, I thought. Um, there wasn't really a lot of chances flying around the first half, in all honesty. But um, obviously, second half, the pressure came from, from West Ham. At half time, what was the thinking? Well, Harry wasn't too happy. Uh, so, <laughs> but that's uh, an understatement. So uh, basically, he just wanted uh, players to, to go at him. And, um, but, you know, fortunately enough, he put me on and, you know, I had a go at him. And, um, you know, we had Big John got a good goal. And um, we worked well for the second one. So. Yeah, it's the first game of the season. I mean, we shouldn't get carried away, but it's a good start. Looking at the half-time scores, you were actually leading the championship at half-time. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> was you going to stop then, then, obviously? <laughs> Only alphabetically, but you were still leading. <laughs> well, that's nice to know. At least we've been top for one little spell of the season, anyway. Might be the only one as well, but Danny Wilson's glad the, the hype's all over, but he won't be glad with the result, was he? They needed a win to start with. I think so. I mean, it's a very emotive day, and it, but you always feel promoted sides because of the success they had last season. You know, they want the momentum to carry through and pick up a few points in the first few weeks. And today they started well enough, uh, particularly first half. They didn't create that many chances, you know, got the boost early on, but, but as I say, didn't create that many. And then second half they fell away, and, and, and certainly West Ham played much, much better in the second half. But they did get that fillip of an early goal. Well, it did. I mean, you know, you're always going to start off charging around, even in that heat. Uh, I mean, Dezo there that is in the middle. And I just want to highlight Harry tackles back. I mean, Moncur should have hooked that away, but that's a great tackle to win possession again. And then Nicky Eden, who I thought played for at half-time. And, of course, you've got the momentum going. Then. And then Neil Redford spreads it again to Eden. As I say, kept getting forward. On this occasion... You know, perhaps he goes to Hendrick Wilkinson beyond him might have been the better bet and West Ham got numbers and, and managed to get a tackle in but you know, in that first half uh, Michael Hughes was playing almost a left wing back here you see him trying to close down Eden but quite often he was getting those teasing crosses in but fortunately for West Ham they didn't concede the second goal and then of course early in the second half this happened I mean for Dave Watson you saw he was outside the six yard box very early decided to come and, and you know quite frankly you just can't come and not get there that, you know, that knocked him back on the there's heels. no point coming for those anyway just stay on your line you could do anything juggle with it pick it up he was actually going behind the two players i mean whether Duzu didn't get a shout but i mean defender if he gets a shout gets out of the way but in fact he's, he's trying to catch it beyond and of course hearts has got a free head and it just drifted into empty net that's a poor goal but your old team went on to spoil the barnsley party Played well in the second half. Yeah, they shuffled it around. They got rid of the three at the back, played a flat back four, and, and then, as Harry said, played the diamond shape. So they did flood the midfield. I thought a key man, personally, was, was the left back then they brought on, Stan Lazaridis, so we just saw at the end. I mean, showed a lot of pace, uh, which they perhaps, you know, that down that side, which, of course, Nicky Eden was doing well in the first half. Suddenly, they're, they're having to track back. Uh, on this occasion, it you know, goes right across the face of the goals, and Hearts are not able to get a, a touch. He's a typical wide player, really. He can play a winger or an attacking left back. Blows a bit hot and cold. Uh, on that occasion, doesn't lift it high enough, and sometimes the final ball does let him down, but the final ball didn't, a, a key one. Frankie Lampard, Mark two. there he is in midfield, uh, gets the ball, only just come on 30 seconds ago, knocks it wide, and then Michael Hughes, the overlap with Lazaridis, good cross, and he did scuff it, I mean, young Frank admitted it afterwards, it wasn't the cleanest of hits, but I'm not sure he's not going to squabble about that. That's a great that. hit. Yeah, left peg, I mean, you know, went in the back of the net. his dad never got up that far anyway, but I mean, it was, it was a, a good win for West Ham, because as Harry said, they, they haven't had a good start for ages. Barnsley, I think they can play better than tough that. Tough season ahead. It's going to be tough, but they're better than I saw today, I think. Okay, thanks, Trevor.